I absolutely adore this little Russian kitten with all my heart. I feel that his character was written beautifully and this character archetype is one of my favorites. The first time I watched Yuri on Ice, I fell in love with the way our Russian punk grows and matures over the course of the series. His introduction in episode 1 is perfect. The music is well placed, the background colors blend nicely with the colors in Yuri's clothes, and this interaction between the two Yuris lets the audience know that Yuri Plisetsky was not someone to be reckoned with. One of the main reasons I love him so much is because of his character development. It was a perfectly paced, gradual buildup that was beautiful to witness. The first thing that caught my attention about Yuri was actually his attitude. He was very rude and confrontational, and not many 15-year-olds I know would yell at strangers eight years their senior like he did, especially after following them into the bathroom. Speaking of age, Yuri on Ice really does that thing where the age of the character doesn't really match up with the character design. Trying to come to terms with the fact that Minami is two years older than Yuri Plisetsky is really hard for me sometimes. Now, there are a lot of people in the fandom who claim that Yurio's distant and cold attitude stems from the fact that he's 15 years old and he is the sole provider for his family through his figure skating. It was never really discussed in the 12 episodes, but it was stated in the Yuri on Life official guidebook. Now, I don't know how accurate that information is. It was also stated somewhere that Yuri's mom was supposed to make a guest appearance at the Hot Springs on Ice event, but due to time issues, they couldn't include it. Now, it is implied that Yuri doesn't really have a strong relationship with either of his parents, so that's why his relationship with his grandpa is so important, and it's strong enough to be the inspiration for his agape routine. Not much is really discussed about Yuri's relationship with Lilia. We do know that he does care for her and he really appreciates all of her help. Him moving in with Yakov and Lilia really gave him that family setting that he was lacking. The second thing that really caught my attention was when Yuri Kotsky stated that Yuri Plisetsky was the junior Grand Prix final gold medalist. We also see here that he is a member of the Russian national team, so they're letting us know right out of the gate that this kid is good. During the airport scene in the first episode, Victor is seen giving Yuri advice on how to improve his step sequence, which Yuri quickly brushes off because he won anyway, so why does it matter? I never really paid attention to what Victor was actually saying here, but this scene offers a little bit of information on the diversity between the two Yuri skating styles, because as we learn later, step sequences are Yuri Kotsky's specialty. One of the most important aspects of Yuri's character are his relationships with Yuri Kotsky and Victor. Because Yuri and Victor both compete for Russia under the same coach, it is natural to think that the two would have developed some sort of bond or friendship. At first they seem rather indifferent towards each other, but as the series goes on, and more so in episodes 2 and 3, we see how much Victor actually means to Yuri. They are both alike in many ways, such as how when they were competing as juniors, both were well beyond their years in terms of skills. This scene where Victor promises Yuri that he will choreograph a program for him if he wins the Junior World Championships is so endearing. It's easy to see that Yuri looks up to Victor. Honestly, just look at that face. Yuri is also not naive as to think that Victor's health is useless, because he knows that he can do well with it. You can tell that this promise really does mean a lot to Yuri because he travels all the way to Japan to find Victor. Though he would never admit it, Yuri had to be hurt when Victor forgot his promise to him. Now, this scene of Victor and Yuri on the bridge was really important for me in terms of their relationship because honestly, the look on Victor's face here says, boy, I could so throw you off this bridge if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. It is so intense for this short period of time but then everything cools down at the end of the episode, and then we get this scene a couple episodes later of Victor telling Yakov and Yuri that he's returning to the ice. Now, the friendship between the two Yuris starts off rocky, but it develops into something pretty unique. We go from the Russian punk yelling at Yuri to retire in episode one, to Yuri Plisetsky putting every fiber of his being out on the ice because he doesn't want his dear cat Sudan to retire. Now, our Russian friend here says he doesn't think there needs to be two Yuris in the senior division, but I have a feeling that not only does he not want to be mixed up with the Japanese Yuri, he's also really frustrated that he made it to the Grand Prix final and gave his worst performance. Not that his reaction was strictly because it was Yuri Kotsky, I think he would have reacted like that no matter who it was. The unlove routines performed by both Yuris are another important aspect of the story. Now, I just want to say that Victor said he gave Yuri Plisetsky the agape routine because doing the opposite of what the audience expects is the best way to surprise them. This boy is 15 years old. 
how would it have been okay having a 15 year old doing a performance about sexual love? Though I think it would be interesting to see the two perform each other's choreography at least once. Yurio does insult Yuri Katsuki a little bit sometimes. Some people just show their love by slightly bullying someone. Yuri is also responsible for some of my favorite lines in the entire show, and here are some examples. That shirt, I wanted no. Any guy who wears sunglasses on his head like that is a douche. Huh? Hey, why are you staring at me, asshole? For those of you who don't know, Yuri Plisetsky and Soul from Soul Eater actually share the same voice actor, so at first, whenever I watched Yuri on Ice, all I could hear was a Russian soul. I am a total Oda Yuri fangirl. I ship them so hard. Now, there are a lot of people who think Oda Becker and Yuri are just great friends, and you know, if they are, that's cool. If they were to become canon in the future, I would be all for that, you know? The main argument against Oda Yuri is the age gap because Yuri is 15 and Oda Beck is 18. But all I have to say on the matter is the age of consent in Russia and Kazakhstan is 16. The Welcome to the Madness routine was really fun for me to watch. I remember the first time I watched it and my jaw dropped. I loved it so much. Also, take notice of how Odebeck had Yuri's whole finger in his mouth. So Odebeck's friendship really means a lot to Yuri. Victor states in his voiceover that nobody had ever asked Yuri to be friends before. And so Odebeck coming in, complimenting him and offering friendship, that really does mean a lot to him. I was not disappointed at all by Yuri Plisetsky winning the gold. I love both Yuri's, but just going off of these declarations alone, I believed Yuri more. He worked so hard, you can't say that he didn't deserve this win. Also, I was a little shook when this happened. I was like, did, did, he, just, did he just say that? This meme I found on Pinterest really sums up JJ and Yuri's relationship. I honestly don't think I have to say anything about it. I also love this scene where he is so graceful on the ice and then goes and sits in the kiss and cry like this. Overall, Yuri Plisetsky is a really amazing character. I enjoy watching him. Every second he's on screen is enjoyable for me. Anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more Yuri on Ice content, I am absolutely obsessed. And I probably will end up making more videos in the future anyway. Once again, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you want to, feel free to follow me on Twitter for some random anime tweets. The link is in the description below.